You have one goal in this life, and that goal is to master thyself. Greetings, greetings, beautiful people. Welcome back to Master Thyself Productions. And today we are going to upload another episode of Observing the Bullshit with God Mama. And today's episode features yet again carbonation. Today we are going to, I'm going to um, include a few snippets of what Solar had to say child it was three hours of nothing but there was um a couple a couple jewels in there that we should we should take away from it and then we are going to observe the queens of carbonation and what they had to say to address the nation on behalf of their so-called leader this will be a smoke session today, so that means it's going to be a little bit of a longer upload than a non-smoke session. So y'all already know how this goes over here. Get your stuff together. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Come on now. And we're back. Glad to see y'all are still here hanging out with me. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Or the dislike button. Either way, show me you care. <laughs> Make sure you leave me a comment down in the bottom. And let me know your thoughts on this upload. Okay, so first let's get into Solar. And child, like I said in the beginning, Solar talked to us for three hours. And that was the longest three hours of my entire life period to listen to someone go on and 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 on about things that they've already said over and over and over and over and over now there were a couple of things that solar said that i hadn't heard before and i've been observing carbonation oh for about five years now and some of the things that solar said made me side eye him a little bit and if y'all are gonna judge me that is fine but also judge your mammy why you at it okay <laughs> uh, one of the things solar said was that he had videos of abuse and that he had a video of Elysio Nature Boy, Three God, Tahuti, Immortal Christ, Christ by Nature. I mean, come on, y'all. We can go on and on with these AKAs that he has had. But he said that he had a video of Elysio masturbating to Pice and Pice was sick hmm now my question is sir wh why do you have a video in your phone of another man jacking off to another man like you was in the room with them like this is so weird to me y'all and I know a lot of people will will hear that and be you know like oh he's got the tea or you know oh drop the video or oh I'll pay you for the video I know this is what is about to happen even if he he may not even have videos he may just be fucking talking out the side of his neck but so I know that that was a that was a ploy, right? Because he first of all, Solar, you're not going to sit here and convince me, sir, me, that you didn't know these videos were in your phone, or you mysteriously forgot, and now all of a sudden you remember. No, no, honey, listen, we have been watching you guys for four to five years now. We know all the plays. Only the people who have came in at the tail end of like when y'all got on Bego and things like that, those people don't really understand how 
the energy of carbonation maneuvers. And when I say the energy of carbonation, I mean that energy that he teaches y'all to have. And so I know that this is just another ploy to get a few more donations or to have people send him money because they want to see it type of thing, which all are weird too. I don't want to see that shit. Um, but it's just weird to me how you have a video of a man masturbating to another man. That's weird to me. You're suspect. You kept saying Elysia in the in the whole three hours. You kept saying Elysio is sus. He's sus. He's sus. You sus too, my brother. Okay, let's not forget the video with the tranny. Okay, let's not forget. Um, but hey, whatever floats your boat is how your boat floats. Perfectly fine. And then another thing, he came and said that he he had footage of him beating people he had footage of him beating on pice um he had footage of him beating several different people like hours worth of beatings and you haven't turned this in <laughs> like i'm confused and i feel like we are not causing we we are not causing enough commotion. We're not causing enough backlash. We're not causing enough chaos. And we're just taking this shit as face value. If the man has proof, video physical proof of abuse, every last person, every last reporter, every last blogger every last concerned citizen should be in his inbox on his head about turning that evidence over to the state even if they can't use it as far as Neytiri or Janae goes they can still use it as to his character as to who he is how dangerous he is but then Solar also goes on to say that someone in the comments asked him, are you going to be willing to go to the police? And Solar in a roundabout way, beating around the bush, basically says no. That's not what he wants to do. He wants the universe to handle it how the universe should handle it. And that Eligio is going to get what's coming to him regardless of whether he turns it in or doesn't turn it in, which is Okay, I can understand that. But bro, listen to me. If someone killed my child intentionally, there would be no stopping me from seeing you spend the rest of your living, breathing life behind bars. I don't care how spiritual or non-spiritual I am. If you hurt one of my children or anyone that I love and you cost them their life, it is now be to be repaid with your life. There is no I'm a be I'm a I'm a stand in love and love them and love is also tough. We want to sit here and, and paint love as to be just this all forgiving, all understanding, um, gives passes. Love is, love is very hard at times. Love makes you change who you are because you understand what love actually is. Love is also conviction. I love you so I convict you of your wrongdoings. I love you enough to tell you that this is wrong and you need to be punished for it. If I didn't love my children, I wouldn't correct them. I wouldn't discipline them. I wouldn't give them consequences to their actions. 
whether it be big or small. Love is not just patting someone on the back and saying, oh, it's okay. I understand you were in you were in a lower frame of mind at that point. It's okay. Come here. That's not love. That's being naive. That's being gullible. That's being ignorant. Love encompasses everything. Since Solar wants to sit here and speak that he is love and he knows love and love and love and love and love, then Solar, you would understand, sir, my friend, my brother, that love also convicts. Love also seeks revenge. <laughs> Justifiable. Because like I said, if you take a life of my loved one, your life is what's owed. Period. So this whole, and you know, he even said that I don't want to see a man sent, sent back a hundred years of his life in jail. Are you kidding me? A hundred years of his life does not even put a bucket or hold water to the life that your daughter never got to experience. She didn't even get to breathe for a day. She didn't even get to breathe for a millisecond. So she had a whole a hundred years worth of a lifespan taken from her because she was considered to be a demon. And Solar talked about that too. Well, he just tried, he tried to make it seem like uh, that was just an act on TV. Like that was just not TV, but you know, social media, that that was just an act that we were portraying it. And, and that's not how he really felt. Are you kidding me? Like, I know y'all were asleep and I know y'all were deaf, dumb and blind. But you, bro, at some point, like, you couldn't be that fucking dumb. Because the reason why I say that you could not be that fucking dumb is because you sat there for four to five years teaching us, the people, that what we say, that what comes out of our mouth is powerful. Don't speak on yourself negatively. That's powerful. Don't say that you're sick. That's powerful. Live your life in the way that you want to be. Speak to yourself. That's the way that you should be. So you let this motherfucker okie doke you into saying, oh, I'm just saying this for the people. But for y'all, this is this is how I feel. No, because Elysia would sit and say this baby is a demon in front of thousands You don't tell me that that has power. Oh, because he said that it's just a joke. When we understand in manifestation and we understand the rules and laws of the universe, that the universe does not differentiate between real and a joke. The universe does not know how to differentiate between what you really feel and you lying. Either way, to the universe, it's truth. Because you spoke it. Hmm. Y'all want to sit here and talk about teaching, 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 teaching. I know divine knowledge. They don't know knowledge. I know knowledge. You can't match me on the knowledge. That's ego driven, my brother, my sister. That's full of ego. You can't match me on the knowledge. We're not supposed to match each other on the knowledge. That's the point to the point of mastering self is to come in contact with other people to get little hints from them that you need for yourself. Not to go to war and say, oh, well, I know more than you. No, I know more than you. Y'all sound like some ego driven children. Y'all sound like my toddler running around the house telling me her daddy, her brother, her grandma, everybody else that she knows everything. Because she's a child. That's what y'all sound like. Our children who don't know how to, sup not suppress, but who don't know how to control 
their ego. They don't know how to master thyself. So Solar goes on to speak more about the incident with, with love, the baby. And he goes on, you know, he, and you know, I will applaud you. Here's, here's a rose, Solar. Because he went into a little bit more detail this time than what everybody else has said. You know, everybody else has told us that Zoka was drinking the entire time. Zoka was, you know, having rough sex the entire time, whether it was forced or not forced, you know, and in them types of situations, when you understand the mind, you understand that rape is also, you can also be raped through power. When a person has power over you or a perceived power over you, you are afraid to tell them no. It is still rape. I digress. You know, everyone has told us about Solar hitting her while she's pregnant, her being, her drinking, her uh, sexual activity. You know, everybody has told us all of these things, but Solar finally leaked it, let it out. That the baby was dead when they got to the first hospital. And you know that was the part of the story that nobody understood. Because the story that they told us is. Is she got to the first hospital and the hospital turned her away. Because that was not where she initially sought care at. And you know all of us who are mothers. Or who have. Or who have been a part of births. Fathers. We were all confused, like, bro, that's against the law. If you're in active labor, a hospital cannot turn you away, regardless if you're there or, you know, regardless if they're your primary caregiver or not, that, that is, that's, that doesn't make any sense. It never made sense as to why she went to this hospital in active labor and they said no, and she had to drive an hour away to another hospital while in labor but solar let it out that when they got to the first hospital the ba- they they checked and the baby was dead and so i guess they wanted a second opinion maybe and being in disbelief being in in shock so they went to the next hospital and the next hospital told them the same thing listen bro your baby is not as gone and he he says, you know, they gave her the option to have a C-section and, and pull it out. And and but it was going to be a longer recovery time. And we all know how Elysio was with recovery. He, he that was not an option. So Solar said, just birth the baby so you don't have to go through all the other things. And they birthed the baby and the baby was dead. Solar said nothing about the cord being wrapped around the neck. He said that the doctor, when they delivered the baby, they delivered the placenta. They tested the placenta. The placenta was poisoned. Why are we not turning this in? We have several witness statements stating that Elysio forced her to drink constantly we have several witness statements saying Elysio forced her to have sex constantly why are we still sitting here like this is reality tv and these are not or I shouldn't even say reality tv why are we sitting here acting like this is a scripted show when we know this is real life for people And you got Zoka sitting over here looking a hot mess. Because as a mother, I could never imagine having to birth a child that's not alive. And shout out to all my mothers who have had to do that. My heart is with you because I know that is not easy. I know that is an experience that you never forget. No matter how tr- how hard you try to erase it, it never leaves you. 
No matter if you fall into the bottom of a bottle, into the bottom of a syringe, into the bottom of a sack, it never leaves you. And I want you to know that my heart and my thoughts are with you always because I could never imagine having to deal with that. And then on top of that, not being able to grieve properly. And on top of that, knowing that I probably contributed to this. That's a hard pill to swallow. I'm about to cry just thinking about it because these people have been through so much, but yet they don't, they, they feel like they have gone through so little. And Solar even goes on to explain, you know, how, how, how psychologically Eligio could leave the front door open and no one would leave because they were afraid and it wasn't necessarily afraid of him. It was afraid of the world. They were afraid of the world because of the the tactics that Eligio used, which is cult 101 tactics. They were afraid that if they left, that they would be perceived as demons or snakes or, or unrighteous people. They were afraid if they left, they would have no one. They were afraid that if they left, the world would come to an end and they would be stuck singing they shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Okay, but we have seen these people leave time and time again, baby, and the world ain't ended yet. Okay? Solar also goes on to talk about Velvet and how when Velvet was out here, and you know, it's funny to me, I'm not saying that they watched my videos because I'm not sure. But it's, it was kind of um, it was kind of weird to me that he kind of talked about some of the things that I was talking about in my last upload. And he's, he was saying how when Velvet, you know, they felt like Velvet was just crazy. But now that he goes back and listens, everything she said was true. And how when you're caught up in that cult energy... You have no self-identity. Your self-identity is your leader. And I think they all need to go and watch Ruthless. And I I kind of I want to talk to Tyler Perry. I know that's a long shot, but I want to ask Tyler Perry, did did you or somebody in your production team watch Carbonation cuz I swear it's like damn near the same. Somebody had to have been watching Carbonation. Period. But, you know, Solar had some good points. Solar, you know, let some things go. But Solar is also still heavily in his ego. Heavily in his ego. And I'm not saying that we have to kill our ego. Because our ego is what keeps us alive sometimes, you know. Um, our ego is, is something that is like a defense mechanism for us. And so you have to learn how to control it. You have to learn how to master your ego so it doesn't get the best of you. In Eligio's case, his ego got the best of him. And towards the end, before he went to jail, you know, it, his ego was was horrible. Um, and that's what Solar was saying, that a lot of the videos that he has are from when the indictment came or whenever the charges and stuff came out. And whenever they sent the first letter to the house stating, you know, he was going to go to jail, that's when the beatings started up again heavily. Uh, so that's why I don't understand why he isn't sharing. I'm not saying share it with the people because I feel like we already know we don't need to we don't need to subject ourselves to that trauma. But I do feel like the district attorney should see it. She should definitely see it, especially if it is leading up to or around the same time that Natiri was violated, Janae was violated, and a lot of other people were violated as well. Um, 
that's all I really got to say about the Solar situation. Um, he, it it appears that him and Janae are are happy. It appears that him and Janae are really trying to work through what they've got going on. Um, I don't, I really don't get the vibe that they are going to seek professional mental help just because they're so ego driven. And that's a thing that we have to let go of in order to seek mental help, mental therapy. Um, we have to let go of that ego, man, because that ego, especially in our community, we're taught, you know, don't speak of anything outside of your home. Um, we're taught what goes on in this house stays in this house. We're taught, you know, that therapy is a sham. Um, why pay someone to, why pay someone to listen to you talk? Right. And so when you're young and you're programmed constantly over the years with that, with that ideology, it's hard to tell your ego, no, it's okay. This doesn't make me stupid. This doesn't make me less of a person. This doesn't mean that I'm schizophrenic because I want to go seek therapy. It actually makes you a stronger person and speaks to to how strong you actually are, how powerful you actually are by doing something that's not normal for you. Or doing something that doesn't make you feel comfortable. Getting therapy is very uncomfortable. Opening yourself up to a stranger can be uncomfortable. But these these um, these therapists, they go to school to learn how to give people proper coping skills. And I think that's what we miss and that's what we lack um thought on is understanding that it's not about paying someone to listen to you talk it's about paying someone to teach you how to cope with certain things it's to pay someone to teach you how to cope with when you get triggered yes maybe you can teach yourself that but most of the times y'all if we are honest with ourselves and we let that ego voice just hush for a minute we know that we can't do it by ourselves especially if we are that damaged and that broken so at the end of this message right here before we get into the quote-unquote queens check with yourself if you feel like you i me personally i feel like we all need therapy everyone needs therapy because we don't know how to cope with things. This world is stressful. This world has a lot of depressive moments. And if we don't know how to properly cope, if we don't know the proper tools and steps that we need, we will become desperate. And when you become desperate, you start losing little bits and pieces of yourself at a time because a person who is desperate will do anything to overcome desperation so I say this to you beautiful beautiful souls reach out and find someone who you vibe with that can teach you the proper techniques and tools to cope with the things that you go through on a daily basis. Ashe, Ashe. I walked out there in Mexico from when I got there, I'm seeing blood up these women's bodies, bro, from this nigga. My, my girl, she putting the rape charge on him, but I mean like all the other girls, like probably got worse situations. Yeah, that's why you said that lie publicly like a troll. Nigga, you ain't gonna gaslight me. You ain't gonna gaslight my greatness. Yeah, that's why he gonna go out and he gonna make, probably be successful and probably do some dope shit and you know, and he gonna talk shit about me. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, I'm gonna go do me for me. I'm gonna go be me for me. That's the point. And that's what these niggas don't get. They don't know how to be them for them. Psychologically imprisoned people. 
I mean about 20 at a time. Beat women, disrespect women the moment they see through his spell. Can you honestly get up here and tell the truth? About the true history of the relationship patterns and behaviors and activity. No. Left, I was able to see from an angle I was never able to see from. It's evil. It's wrong. It's sick. This nigga fed Zoka alcohol behind my back over and over and over again to my child. The umbilical cord did not choke the baby. No. The umbilical cord did not choke the child. When the child came out, it was already dead from about an hour before. We switched hospitals from Hato Rey to San Juan. In Hato Rey, we found out the baby had died in the womb. They weren't able to tell us why. Hato Rey, go from to, to San Juan, get to San Juan, they're telling us we, the baby gets delivered and I'm looking at it and I'm starting to realize that the best way to get it to go through this is to deliver the baby still. You know, I'm like, all right, bet. That's the best form of recovery for her is if she delivers the baby. If you do incisions, cuts, all that stuff, it could be different. But if she delivers the baby, it's the best outcome for Zoka. So I was like, all right, bet. Let's do that. So we decided to do that. She delivers the baby. When the baby comes out and I see the baby and I see the placenta and I'm holding her, she's beautiful, fully formed, got lo lovely hair, beautiful, beautiful um, eyes, beautiful nose, beautiful face. Beautiful, beautiful. Look just like me. She looked like Janae Aiko, in my opinion. Beautiful, just gorgeous. But she was thick, like me. She was a chunky baby. And you know, she had all of her toes, all of her fingers, everything. No mutations, no t Everything was just beautiful, heavy, healthy looking baby. But died an hour before delivery. And when we looked at why baby love died, Oh, and you hear love. This is, I want you to think of this, baby. It's because they said, well, it seems like the placenta was poisoned. Someone poisoned the placenta. The placenta went bad. The placenta got poisoned. And the baby was miraculously able to survive this long. Right before she went into labor, they decided to go do a love video shoot. Love, 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 love. Love. The very name I chose for my daughter. Hour later, two hours later, she dies in the womb during labor. So, I'm sorry for the lies. We shouldn't have had to do this whole meeting and this whole thing of how can we save Chief Zoka? How can we do it? We had this whole conference like, what can we do? How can we take responsibility for this so, so don't come back on him? When he gets on the phone with us, when we tell him what happened, what does he do? He cusses us out and blames us for everything and cusses us and, 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 and threatens to, to beat us. And I hung up on him. She was poisoned behind my back. Okay, before we get into this video, it's called Distraction from Divine Action. And here are Elysio, Three God Nature Boys, so-called wives, um, with a message from him to the people. Now, everybody knows that they're basically talking to Solar, um... So let's listen to what they got to say, and I'll commentate on the way. Your. Your. Everything that's going on in the world right now is a distraction from divine action. Okay, graphics. You can't forget this is a war. You can't forget that the, the white man is destroying our planet, is destroying our earth. We are on a living, breathing organism that they're destroying they're taking the nutrients from, they're depleting it of its, of its nutrients, of its oils, of its 
vitamins, of his minerals, everything. It's, the, it's depleting it of everything. And they're taking more than they're giving. And we have to remember and remember. Okay, I have one question because I've listened to them preach this quote-unquote knowledge for about four years now. And if I remember correctly, their leader preaches that this is a holographic universe. Nothing exists outside of yourself. You make up this reality. So if that is law by their teachings... Why are they so worried about what happens to the earth? Who controls the earth? Because if this is just a holographic projection and you control your reality, why have you not took white supremacy out of your reality yet? Mind ourselves, this is a war. This is not play. This is not to take lightly. This is not to sit back and not keep the knowledge and proclaim the kingdom of God. Yes, we're still here. Yes, we're still rotten. And we have mm, to remind right. ourselves every day that keep the knowledge no matter what. So if you're in tune with the message, if you're an indigenous child of the land, black, brown, melanated, if you get the message, if you're in tune with what we're saying, get in tune with the knowledge. Teach, proclaim the kingdom of God. Don't let the knowledge sit by the wayside. You can't forget about three. You mm. can't forget about our Father God. Because this father. knowledge will reign in the end. Pyramid. And there's nothing better than it. And so we can't get distracted with worldly things. We can't get distracted with what's going on. Yes, watch the news. Yes, be interested. But never get distracted from the, from the point at hand. Mm. From divine truth. Absolute truth. Because we're still in a war. When you poured it into this realm, you poured it into war. This when you portaled into this realm, you portaled into this realm to learn how to master yourself, how to master your lower and higher vibration, your lower and higher frequency, your God and your devil. You came here to learn how to master that. This is only war because you make it war. This is serious. We're here standing on truth. Look at what's happening to the earth right now. Mm -hmm. Earthquakes. Mm -hmm. It's flooding. Thunderstorms. Okay. Fires. <coughs> it's, it's droughts. Everything going on right now to show you that they are killing, stealing, and destroying from nature, from our home, from mm -hmm. our cell, our mm -hmm. organism that is living and breathing. You can't even breathe the air of the earth no more. You're walking around with a mask on your face. It's that serious. I'm not walking around with a mask on my face. I can breathe the air right now. It's only people who live in fear, false evidence appearing real, that live with a mask on, that feel like they cannot go outside without a mask on. They live in fear. That has nothing to do with the people you're talking to because the people that you would be addressing the people who are in your space or vibrate to what you are talking about have already left that mindset of wearing a mask like <sighs> cult life 101 serious. Mm -hmm. and this is a serious matter our husband is behind bars wait he your husband for now. something he didn't do I thought but it's bigger father. than that. It's political. It gets political now. So you have a now we look into the system and what, what's going mm. on with the system and how they mm. got the rules and regulations set up. Mm -hmm. How is everything going in the system? How is mm -hmm. the the black woman treating the black man? Okay. How she gets to disrespect him, mm. and he and and you go free, he go behind bars. Well, Malia, that's that's how it works, honey. When a person is raped. The, the accused, the suspect, is the one that goes to jail. And the victim goes home. Like, I don't know what planet you've been living on. I don't, I don't know. But that's how it works. That's how it's always worked. And to say that the woman gets to disrespect the man but what about the man that be disrespecting y'all all last every one of y'all on a daily basis get into that malia 
how he disrespects you by making you fight people how he disrespects Eferu because she half white how he disrespects Zoka because Zoka didn't really want him in the beginning how he disrespects Aya by making her sell her body come on now get into it how you get to disrespect your husband the only man that's there for you the only black man that understands you look at the color of your skin black woman Bow down to your husband. Honor and value what he say because he's a man. Because you're supposed to enhance his ego, enhance his. Girl, I know she didn't. Girl, that's why you getting beat. Let me hush because that's why you be getting beat on and everything else. Talking about bow down to your man. Listen, honey, us who have real husbands, real men in our life. They don't make us bow down to them. They don't even ask us to bow down to them. It's not even... Y'all so warped. Mine. Push his agenda. Not the white man's agenda. Not killing, stealing, and destroying. But he not working for money, not working for a dollar. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm sorry. She said... Not following the white man's agenda of stealing, killing, and destroying it. <clears throat> can somebody um refresh my memory hasn't eligio been out here killing stealing and destroying i'm i'm confused baby he been out here killing babies okay stealing women from their children and children from their parents and he's been destroying y'all's lives your minds your bodies people have lost their life over this and then to go on further and say work for a dollar honey what you think Elysio been shaking ass and stripping for like come on now y'all y'all cannot really sit here and believe the shit that y'all be saying because the dollar keeps you Let distracted from divine blunt. action mm. and that's the whole point of this download is distractions stop getting distracted by physical things, by your by your human desires, your primitive nature. Stop letting it get to you. Keep the knowledge no matter what you do. Keep the knowledge. Keep the truth with you as you walk. Keep it as a shelter. Keep it, put it as a garment around your neck. It's not to be played with. This is very serious. Babylon system, that world, it literally provides you with all your comforts to distract you from the purpose of why we truly here, and that's to have divine knowledge of self. Mm -hmm. And when you are enlightened with that divine knowledge of self from the Most High Three God, our Father, mm -hmm. then the rest of your life is just the application of him. When did this man become y'all's father? Opposed on us, and it's to distract you from the sickness, the mm -hmm. backwardness that's going on in this world. We not in our natural, if we're not in our natural environment, what makes you think that we're doing natural things? Everything in that is unnatural. Mm -hmm. And the body is sick of white supremacy. That's the cancer. That's the virus that we have now is the white supremacy because it goes against nature. Mm. When you So I see the play now. Eligio is having them basically get online and plead to the pro-black community with this white supremacy the body is tired of white supremacy white supremacy white supremacy talk he's trying to have them reach out to the pro-black community to see if they will help him in the pan-african community and i say this to y'all brothers and sisters y'all bet not drop a mother fucking die it's sick you get a fever because your immune system is fighting the sickness the earth has global warming right now because it's trying to fight this sickness in the body and that's white supremacy mm -hmm. we still here because we still writing for the truth and we know no matter what happened everybody coming to this truth it's bigger than the entertainment the drama that y'all so-called consume with is bigger than that. It's the truth that everybody got to come to. They got your mind. You get three, eight hours in a day. One, eight hour go to sleep. The second eight hour go to work. You going to work. You you hustling, busting for this money. You drop your kids off at school. If you at work and you spending all this time consumed with 
chasing a dollar bill who taking care of your kids this is yeah malia going. who taking care and of your how kids you know who are you it's a, it's a who take care of your kids that got your mind you can't focus your mind mm. and store your treasures in heaven store your treasures mm. on gaining knowledge of self and the truth because your mind is so focused on money mm. keep the knowledge no matter what you do keep the knowledge hmm. there are two kingdoms at hand mm -hmm. the rise of the kingdom of god and the fall of the united states of america God is sick and tired of being ignored. The United States system takes the oil from the earth, takes the water, takes the fish from the sea, sprays the sky, cuts down trees for your comforts. You have water coming out of faucet for your comforts. Your you comfort have a toilet too. in your house for your comforts. Your comfort too. You have air conditioning for your comforts. Your comfort too. But once Nature strikes back and mm -hmm. shows that it needs to heal and cleanse this earth plane. Mm -hmm. It will take away okay. all of those comforts and luxuries that we use on a day to day basis. Mm -hmm. well, you so must what's see that, that do this with dollar is just our values. Mm -hmm. but you should be valuing truth. You should be valuing okay. family. You should be valuing righteousness, respect, honor, loyalty. Something to live for, something to die for. Because once all of these comforts are gone, once all of these distractions are gone, you won't have a TV, you won't have Wi-Fi, you won't have your telephone. So you will have to deal with the people at hand. There's a lot of violence going on nowadays. There's a lot of trauma and pain no one is addressing. Like We're sitting you. there trying to, oh, let's go into this alcohol, let's go into this drug, let's go into this relationship, let's escape. Mm -hmm. But nature's gonna have to like sit yourself. with itself. Because the truth of the matter is that we need to heal. If you're not mm. on the vibration of love of Christ consciousness, you will get wiped away. Three God has given not you this wiped warning. Away, child. We're giving you this warning and we will keep going because he is always going to live through us. Mm -hmm. He is Period. not locked away because his mind, his mindset is what we have. That's the mind of God. She Period. said he ain't dead. Period. These things that we're going through, these tough times, it's only temporary. <sighs> it's not going to last always. And hey, right I ain't now, gonna lie, Malia would make a good first lady. We are lady. being bombarded with the trolls and the negativity. All they're trying to do is distract you and distract you from listening to the messenger mm -hmm. who has come to bring a message to all of us people to wake up. The way that we're living is going against our natural way of life. It is destroying the earth. It is destroying the planet. And the very person that can articulate this message is being held behind bars mm -hmm. off of false allegations. Mm -hmm. But just know that these times, they don't last always. You can never, ever <laughs> silence the truth. The tr Wait, so you mean to tell me, Aya, that Eligio is the only person who knows how to, only black man who knows how to go out into nature and survive? child you must not be paying attention we will always find a way and so we are very thankful for all of our supporters the people who did not get distracted the people who do see through all of this and are still there for us are still making sure that we are safe still checking on in on us and just being a good friend Thankful. Because that is what we're looking for these days, and that is what the world is devoid of. Mm -hmm. Real love and friendship. Mm. And so we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all of your support and dedication. And keep going. Keep going. If you want to still uh, donate to us, um, just know that we still are looking for legal representation. If mm. anyone wants to help, we will throw our Cash App link in the bio in the description thankful for you and your support okay love myself love myself, love myself. so child what the what the fuck they be doing all day like this is crazy hmm so just watching this it, uh, it's very interesting to me how Eligio had, because you know he he told them all what to speak about. 
And it's very interesting to me that he had Eferu speak about white supremacy, knowing that she's half white. And especially how he treated her in that van and basically degraded her because she had a white man's blood in her. And being biracial myself that day, it triggered the fuck out of me because, excuse my language, but I was like, oh, I would have karate chopped you in the throat. Like, bro, I would just take what's coming because you're not about to sit here and talk to me like I'm beneath roaches or beneath whatever you feel like is the nastiest thing on earth. I'm lower than that. Hell fucking no. So that was interesting to me. And it was also interesting to me how Zoka kept mentioning love and and then speaking about nothing that had to do with why Elysio should be free, but rather healing and doing what's right and people in their relationships and smoking and drinking and she was throwing shots heavy hardcore all while sitting here looking like she's two seconds away from crying Aya over here looking like she just there just to be there because she ain't got nowhere else to go serving model face at all mm -hmm. times Malia over here contemplating whether or not she should even go home because what are you what are you you know that man is is not gonna get out at all that's my opinion he i mean three ain't free boo boo they did amazing on the graphics good job you guys are, are doing well on your presentations but you're you're giving very much, very, very much cult vibe. You're giving very much brainwashed, stuck in a loop vibe. Okay. If I just keep saying Efru zoning out like a good little military girl sitting straight up, arms straight down to her side. Everybody else is relaxed. Efru over there stiff as a motherfucking board. Okay, period. <laughs> I try not to laugh because these are real people going through real experiences in their life. And ultimately, yes, would it be a perfect scenario for each and every one of them to get out and, and, and get the, the proper care that they need and succeed and thrive in their own life as their self? Absolutely absolutely but baby right now these poor babies is looking like they they lost souls they walking around with needing a savior don't save her she don't want to be saved don't save her if you have some bullshit you would like to be observed on the show you can send it to my email which will be down in the description link below y'all keep yourselves grounded keep yourselves whole and in abundance don't let this shit make you stay up at night and until the next episode peace out